<laughs> Will the rain or snow hinder the the clarity of these cameras? Uh, no, but uh, but obviously optimal clarity is with you know full daylight is your best on any camera. Um, they're not affected by rain or snow unless of course uh, I guess something gets splashed up on it. Um, they have heater components that defog them. Right, so one of the uh, that's what right. False rumors that spread around this program was that this was being done, you know, off to the side of the NYPD and creating a, you know, the NYPD had no involvement in this. And so on. They're so the ones who are actually directly involved. Yeah. That they're, they're absolutely there's only two. Absolute there's only two access points to these cameras. The first and foremost is the real-time crime center. They have the use of permissions and codes. And as soon as they go in, they trigger a series of audit trails indicating they've been through it basically an audit sheet, a spreadsheet that says so-and-so was in, this is what they looked at, this is what they removed, they took video out. Um, they're under an MOU, a memorandum of use or understanding on how, and, and they've been working with that for three years now, the real-time crimes and the notes of the program as well. The other access is through Secure Watch's maintenance uh, component, where we go in and physically check the focus on the cameras daily. The cameras also have software that indicates the devices themselves have software to indicate whether they're having network issues or connection problems, hard drives overheating, or there's something going on with the camera that we need to dispatch a truck to maintain it. The maintenance protocols are unique in the fact that we budgeted several extra full component cameras so that we don't waste time trying to fix them or leave a camera without a hole without a camera. We simply remove them. Uh, they have quick disconnects. We take the unit off quickly from the pole, not even stolen. And, and part of the unit actually stays there. It's, it's a two-piece unit. We take them out, we put the fresh one on, and we take the other one back and we fix it at the service center so that no, no, no porno stays on, on, on that. That's for three years. That contract is probably one of the most extensive I've ever seen in the state. It's a three-year parts and labor contract. And nobody has to worry about anything but secure watch for the next three years. If there's a crime that happens, and it's and these cameras are used in, in the successful apprehension, so they, they, they're going to let the assemblyman know that, you know, and then we'll peel at the press now. Now, if something happens on Avenue J, for example, where, the, where these cameras are put, call the police, the police are looking for cameras. The police will reach out to, to your company no. or the public no. can't? We are, we are out of it. We're, about, we're out of that completely now. We're only a maintenance piece at this point. Right. Now, how many cameras, cameras are you going to be putting up as part of the, the state project that Doha can put together? This, this particular project will have 240 cameras that will go up and they will be they are being um, integrated with the uh, 3,000 that already exist in Brooklyn for the same project okay. so, huh? we're slated to do um, 240 so 240 I thought there was 320 300. 320 sorry 320 okay. all right different 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 project right um, but how many have already been installed? we just started putting them in Okay, so you 12, have 12, 12 are up. So we got three of the units, okay. 12 cameras are up. And they'll continue um, through the spring until we get them all up. Tell me the retention of the video, uh, how long it will last? You know, we're, we're hoping for anywhere from 10 to 30 days, depending on the activity, the lighting, the motion. Um, they have um, they have large hard drives in them. They can store for quite a bit, but they are storing uh, high def video, so that uses up a bit of those hard drives. And you can only stream at a certain rate. Uh, you can store at one rate, one definition, and you stream at another. So basically, only law enforcement will have control. Only law enforcement has access to these cameras. And um, actually, not necessarily first responders in general. So. Um, so your Office of Emergency Management, but the PD actually has the, the, the codes and access to it right now. I see, okay. So the people that were asking months ago if uh, Goodla is going to have control for any Jewish groups? They do is... not have any control of these cameras. Any access to these cameras that they need, and they may need it, for, uh, they will go through the NYPD or the District Attorney's Office to, act, to access the cameras.